What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play campaign as the United States. So to round off where we left off, this army under Sean Lincoln is attacking the force under Gaga Chandola, which is currently located in this Papinus building. And as you can see, we are actually very close to finishing this game. The enemy has uh, only one territory left, which is here in Odaipo. Ud his forces are broken, the last pocket of resistance down here at Goa has been destroyed and soon this campaign will be over. So without further ado, let's attack. On how close this is likely to finish to um, my, at this point now, the Napoleon Total War campaign is Great Britain, my vote We'll pick the next two campaigns and actually the next episode you'll see after this one will be the new campaign which um, I think it's going to be a set of long cam uh, world dominations because world dominations seem to be providing the most well the late game is both simple and challenging because it requires you s usually there's a theater that's been left alone or or you have enemies that enemies that are still strong enough to actually pose a challenge. So I might put them here. Then when I advance, they'll probably unlimber. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking back to my Mexico campaigns and my short campaigns. It kind of felt like nothing really happened. It just felt like I, I achieved the objectives and that was it. Um, which is fun, don't get me wrong, but it still felt like a, just quite a simple campaign. Whereas world domination at least makes you think about other things. God, they really did not want to deploy close to me, did they? Advance up to this bridge line. No cavalry, so it's going to be lots of responding to. So I'm only switching to quick line just to help knock out these these cavalrymen on the flank. In fact, I might even keep two of you here. Maybe do something more like this. Lance is down. Hey, another spare unit of line infantry. So they might pierce through one unit of, cav of square formation, but the second one should cause them some problems. This is down, you're going to charge someone. Trying to pick who are they actually going to charge. There we go. So we've broken those forces. Start hitting the Gurkhas with. Ooh, okay, you guys do not push. You guys 
platform line here. down to square again. This flank needs to roll out their enemies rapidly, because this flank could be problematic. Sufficiently problematic to gamble with some friendly fire canister shot. Can or canister shot? Uh, quick line. So the wager of this chap will not these chaps will not survive very long. So if it was you, please, because you're the right distance away. go. Got a big old mess here. Okay, let's change. Can you form square as well? Managed to take over just when those guys managed to rout. Start to curl up this flank. Let's attack these troops in the rear. Out of square. No, in fact, this line there goes up ready to engage the armed citizenry. Now, let's throw you into the mix. Unsurprisingly, some scallywags have returned. <coughs> Time to engage the armed citizenry. Let's get my how it says one one to shoot at the desert warriors, one to engage the elephants. Engage those camels. Upgrade to engage the desert warriors and musket fire. Push these guys over, ready to threaten the elephants. Everyone focus on the armed peasantry. Everyone's engaging the general. There he goes. Let's get my 
artillery folks on Desert Warriors. Charge straight in there. shooting at him. You got these troops are hunkered in. Actually, even if your range is just short, I can just attack ground there. Oh, it's nicer than stand up and move up in front of the cover. That's just lovely. Just as you feared. everyone. Let's continue just because it won't take very long because I've only got one unit that can actually do anything. So see if we can take out any more of these desert warriors. The edge of the map so just over here. the armed peasantry. These guys have all split up. They've all started to string, started to form a line. See? So many more kills. Ten, nine, eight, six, two. Awesome. Now everyone's over here. Hey, artillery, it's, it's ooh, they're actual artillery teams. We might actually catch them. <laughs> the infantry will escape. Well, it has escaped. Coco Gadget General. No, 24 pounder foot artillery teams for you. That wasn't close. No way. No way, Jose. Damn. Still lost a thousand men though, but they lost three thousand, so that's them destroyed. Men forward. Prepare your army. Yes. You've moved, you've moved. Sir. Your orders. Move these guys up ready to hit the last army. To be honest, lots of these guys can start to you have fought. Fought enough. Yes. Orders, Captain. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> no way, I don't want to mean to demote the Admiral. Let's go by the ships. I figured I might as well do a bit of it now, because it's so to move the admiral again. Orders, Everything here is being repaired. Ready and Sorry, on. Owen Keats, you're done for. Sir. Bennett Clavering, you're also Sorry. gone. Gordon Colgrove, ah, we'll bring you up. Can't do that, General. Tobin Davis, he's been here since the start. Could probably bring Tobin around to here and go hit 
Aaron Trivedi. That draws in all of these troops. So much cavalry though, so I might have to hunker down and be a bit defensive. <laughs> we really It won't be this part, probably be the next part. So then I'll have my well, Denmark and United Provinces campaigns will have two very close no, Denmark and 13 Colonies campaigns will be very close in terms of being very close to each other in part numbers. Okay, so take this. Take this uh, nice and steady as a defensive battle because they've just got so much cavalry. You can't really be super offensive when the enemy's got so much more mobility than you. So I may force him to come to me. Well, that's the Pennsylvania Bucktails. Named all the way back when, however many years ago. Artillery. Artillery and mortars firing quick line. Cavalry on each flank because my flanks are actually pretty weak. General in the centre. So all my talk of fancy artillery shots, they all have to go back to round shot. Enemies, enemies are coming in on the right, so let's get this. Oh no, you're still useful. Move up to take out these lancers. You switch to shrapnel shot, engage that unit of lancers. You switch to shrapnel and engage that unit of lancers. Good, we must have break two enemy units. I mean, you hunker down and form square. You guys form square. Aim at the great gun off in the distance if you've got no targets. Go, we've got them surrounded. Square will Square will deal with them. Friendly fire, can't, can't, can't quick climb. Well, at least they stay in square formation. No, leave my gunners alone. Okay, round shot there. Artillery in the distance. Okay, now let's focus on their artillery. So 
and when Kirsi has up to deal with the lances. Charge in, General. Especially the guys going backwards. Switched to canister, sh shrapnel, sh canister shot, not shrapnel shot. No, wait, it is shrapnel shot. I'm an idiot. Let's move my curiosities in to start knocking out some of the guns. It's just a bodyguard back here. General's bodyguard's going down. Focus fire the general's bodyguard unit. Poor, poor dear. The military machine is just too much. deal with the reinforcements coming in over here. Okay, let's pick up my infantry. Form the line. Ha ha, the fools. So I dropped them into square and ran my cavalry around, thinking if they are chasing down my cavalry, they'll just bash straight into the square formation, and they have. Oh, they're trying to catch me out on the flank. It's just not going to work. Because you're already very unhappy. So let's get all my artillery switched to round shot. Gun down this general. Nicely profiled up against the side of the mountain here. Mm. 
see if they're charged before we get a couple of volleys in. The third regiment of foot, all this time. They're going to be made a mess of. Let's bring the cuirassiers around here. Missing them a lot. Just too much. Any Gurkhas here? There they are. Deploy the cavalry. Push them on. Into the Gurkhas. Poor souls. Oh, they wrapped us. Charge on into the warriors. Let's keep the cursiers going. left is this general unit. He has fled and invaded us so far. Let's triple speed it, because right now there's nothing else to do. Nope, he's had enough. <laughs> oh. Good victory for Tobin Davis. He's one of the first armies I've created actually. Years ago now. Sweet. But yes, this force is utterly destroyed. Dead. Dead. I cannot do that. Fractionated. Yes, sir. To be honest, the part may well end <laughs> today. Because these guys are just Oh, that's not a That's not a fight. Victory. Sir. Your orders. Let's take Aaron Sully. Put the last territory under siege. What do I just attack them now? If I attack them now, it's gonna be it's gonna be a longer part, but to be honest, there's no point stringing it out. You know what? Let's make this a grand end. End campaign. <laughs> End part. This is the last territory. They've got this tiny stack here. This tiny stack up here. It's got to be the end of it, I think. They've got mortars, though. I'll wait a turn and get some more troops here. <laughs> Always be wary of mortars. Let's hit in turn. Oh, this army here is a heathen. Hey, we defeat, we won. <laughs> Scallywags. 
Look at that. They tried it. I forgot about them. Go those ghosts of Persia. Look at them trying to steal our secrets. They'll be super upset when I knock it down. Doesn't matter. People are starving in Italy. Knock it down. Sir. Your <laughs> Destroyed. Any further orders? Sir. Them. Destroyed. Oh, near his damn it. Destroyed. Sir. Them down. We are now they are destroyed. Anything more, There's sir. no question about it with these guys. Proud and victorious. Yes. Oh. For crown and country. Disband. Disband. Sir. Disband. <laughs> Natural causes. One of our rakes. Frost and missionary has died. Workers on strike all over the shop. Not that it's going to make a darn bit of difference. At the rate. Yes. Because Charles Hawthorne, sorry. Ready for Move you in there. Just to stop people from complaining. Yeah, they're not complaining now. Make ready. Sorry, good win. Yes. Leslie, you've been here for a long time. Now you're gone. The same with Eric Fortescue. Your humble servant. Clump together all the troops. Actually, no, that used to work in Rome. We used to just hit M, and they'd all merge. But you move well. up and attack. They hide behind so. women's skirts. <laughs> Swan, rock, Get rid of Nathaniel Swan. Winthrop. Let's take my siege, fully equipped unit and get ready to assault. <laughs> and then this will be done with this campaign that spanned multiple years, mainly because I've been, but you know, it's been good. So in a very short span of time, we'll actually have two, two brand new campaigns starting from one single vote. Which I think is crazy. That things have synced up that well. Tomorrow we'll probably be about two thirds of the way through the vote, the campaign vote. Okay, let's. Oops, screen's gone black again. There we go. So, grand battery on one flank. How it's as ready. Assault forces on the flank as per usual. Actually, I might even... Oh, we've got two units of heavy horse. In which case, then, one unit of heavy horse is going to be positioned over here to help blow some holes in the walls on this side. General is going to be cover. Infantry and riflemen covering the cannons. Sweet. You knock a hole through there. You knock a hole in there. You knock a hole in there. How it says to shoot at who you feel like. This is ripe for quick climb abuse. Attack ground quick climb right here. attack this part of the fort here. Which, well, to be honest, I think that's where they're already attacking. Got 
these Indian walls do like to break for a pastime, don't they? I hope you spread them out. Okay, let's get one of them dropping quickly and just on the breach. This section, good. Probably make one here, one down here. Oh, this. Oh, I thought I might bounce into the centre. Yeah. If they take out this section. Good. And focus on one right at the edge. Too bad I don't have any cavalry. So he seems determined not to want to cover this front wall. Sector. Just put holes everywhere. They can't cover them all. Suddenly, I was about to retarget them and suddenly realised, hang on, I had a plan for these guys. Look at that. First volley, they've almost made second breach. Let's push up. Let's limber out my howitzers and advance them forward a bit. So I'm happy to drop round shot on here, but I won't drop quick lime. What's the point of having what's the point of having loads of artillery if I'm just gonna treat it like I don't have lots of artillery? Now what's the point of having reinforcements if I'm going to act like I don't have thousands more men waiting to storm the breaches afterwards? Temporarily, just to get them away from the front of my houses, my cannons. Keep putting holes in it. As soon as the house is start firing, run. So let's get ready and watch. Not 
quick climb though. You three. Getting through the breach here. You. You guys storm the breach there. You guys have a go at taking the taking the wall. You guys have a go at taking the wall. You guys get ready to go through the gate. There we go. Start dropping shells down on them, boys. Desert warriors, desert warriors, armed peasantry, desert warriors. In come the shells. in these guys are going to hold position here and I'm going to feed them into the meat grinder afterwards Let's see if I can get Charge through the gate. So they managed to cut one of my units off completely. <laughs> but I've managed to get some infantry units to position. Trapped. Yeah, that's fair enough. So these guys want them to set up and just fire to cover the breach. These rifle scouts are not going to make it. Form square. Feed them into the meat grinder. <laughs> there goes their graphics. Some of these boys should. Good. They've made it in. This fuse of their square should do a good job of holding off the majority of them. to charge this general in because I've captured the gatehouses. Okay, let's push these guys up. Well, they have a plethora of targets. Yes, the rifleman scouts. Ah, quick climb. Let's see if we can make them run up more ropes. The more ropes they run up, the faster they get up. Ah, the dervishes have, have, have assaulted my stronghold. So the rope from the scouts that made it up there aren't even going to be alive for very long. These guys are going to be the game changer. 
how they've managed to take and hold such a key position. Come in, Mon General. Heavy horse units, target the armory. Raise the armory. Two enemy units inside. Oh, oh no, that might work. Charge in my field marshal. Go away, artillery. I don't want more of you. These guys up against the dervishes. Those are artillery. Get in here, grenadiers. Oh. See, this looks bad till you realise just how many men I have. Killed her in general. Well, we shot at her in general. Heartless people. The English use a quick time. Hey, you killed their general. Bodyguards turns out they're hard to kill. Especially when they're super duper infantry like mine. Ah, my general died. Ah, he actually routed me, he does. Was that 50 men lost? Fear not. Good stuff. Let's see how accurate you are. Fire guns at the breach, because most of those men aren't mine. You don't trust yourself, eh? Attack ground. Inside the gates. Ah, oh, did you come back? I think I did.
So let's form square. The garrison guards have been, been beasts, so they really well over here. Artillery. I knew you'd come back, General's bodyguard. Get a charge in. Charge my remaining field marshal unit into the bodyguard. Ah. Elephants coming after me. Let's get rid of you, let's get rid of you. Charge bold as brass into the Sikh warriors. These men are grenadiers of the guard. They're not going to be put off by you. God, those garrison guards have done phenomenally well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> now my forces will grow. Curiosiers will do. Charge into the body of man. Charge. They're actually chasing us down. Ah, charge. Ah, the guardsmen finally succumbed. Charge back once again into the enemy. Let's get rid of you. As the generals were already dead, he may as well attack the elephants. The engine has scythed down the remaining Sikh warriors. The grenadiers spear down the last camels. We charge in the cuirassiers. One last dervish. If you kill him, that'd be lovely. Still try kill. Charge in. them down. Oh, you take the city. For the good of your people. There's two men left. Generals will be dead. Actually, the guards can charge on into the sea quarries. the dead pile up around the breach. Mm -hmm. 
So they're so damn determined to chase after my men. <laughs> So few troops remain. This is it. It's all that remains. An elephant and three desert warriors sparring valiantly. Oh, they killed a guard. Another general died. This guy's a beast. He just killed two guys. Did he make it three? Nope. Everyone against the last elephant. It's like the Lord of the Rings. Don't stop. The only thing to do would be to run away and shoot it. <laughs> but that, I believe, is the destruction. Finally, after all these years, the US campaign comes to an end and my original old force is lost. But this is why we storm with multiple Rage armies. <laughs> we have broken the siege. Sir. Forward! Oh. Ready and awaiting or yes. So with an army of this size. Sir. I mean I was gonna go around and actually try and determine what my max earnings is, sans troops, um, but I don't know if I'm going to go all the way around the map and do that. Some of these standout, some, obviously some of the armies that are currently not garrisoning things, which well, to be honest, most of my efforts, my forces are in India, so I can, or I will, do an amount of this in India, but I won't go hunting everywhere for it. Like the obvious ones, anyway. Sorry, Gifford. Keith. To be honest, lots of my fleets went... came to India anyway. And lots of my armies did. Well, <sighs> oh, that's enough, probably. But yes, that is the entire map under the banner of the Stars and Stripes. I'm pretty sure even the most... Yep, there's no... no annoying little regions. Everything is ours. <laughs> so at the end of the game, we have currently got an income next turn of 570,000, so about half a million. We're not trading with anyone, because obviously we are the world. It doesn't count as trade anymore, it's just all tax. There is no prestige, because we're the only one in the world. There is no need for diplomacy, because we are the only person in the world. <laughs> yep, we've got all the tech. All the tech we could possibly research. We've got some universities which you would destroy. And that is the end of the US campaign. So we end. Oh, sorry, we didn't end, didn't end up actually looking. So because you're producing so much goods, the cost of most commodities is just right down because we're making so much of them. Um, army upkeep: one hundred eighteen thousand. Navy upkeep: twenty six thousand. Town watch 2,000. Yeah. Almost three quarters of a million income. It'd probably be more if I disbanded all my armies. But even then, if I disbanded everything I've got, yeah, that's, the, that's the point. I don't need to do... I don't need to physically disband everything. You just get rid of these two figures. So it'd be... 718,000, 888, minus 2,406. This would probably go down a bit. But it's about... Call it 715,000-ish. That sort of figure per turn is what I'm cranking up. And that's not even with, every, with everything being upgraded. Actually, then again, most of it's probably upgraded pretty pretty well. Like lots of these trade, these plantations don't really do much except for produce taxable income for the region. 
Um, but yes, this is the end of the US campaign. The end of my longest campaign to date. Um, but I'm looking forward to replacing it with some suitably long campaigns in future. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And if you've watched all of these videos in the playlists to make it to now, Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a lot of time. And thank you for doing it, if you have done it. Um, but yes, please, please, please check out my channel for the uh, faction vote video. If you're watching this too far in the future, the video, probably the faction vote video won't be active and the f factions will be picked. Um, but yes, I am fascinated to see what two campaigns will be chosen. Righto, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for a brand new campaign. Cheers everyone.